Hey guys, welcome back. If you're a regular viewer of this channel, you probably have heard before that sometimes I get boxes in which uh, contain comics for other people as well. And this is one of those boxes. It's a pretty huge one, but sadly, most of the comics are not for me. So uh, there's gonna be a lot of packages inside for other people, which I will not be unpacking, but there's also gonna be a package inside for me, which I will be unpacking. And it's got about 12 to 15 comics or something like that inside. So uh, yeah, let's see what, what's inside there. And uh, since it's uh, only gonna be a couple of comics for myself, um, I'm probably going to be doing a little bit of a deep dive in some of the comics. Just give you guys a glimpse of the art inside. And some comics will be new to me. Uh, others uh, will be known to me. So sometimes I, I'll be able to say something more about it than just browsing through it. That's all. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what's inside. This box is coming from a Pinprint, which is a guy uh, who I've come to know uh, through Facebook. And... Um, he started his own Facebook page uh, recently, so I'll leave the link in the description. And uh, yeah, if you're if you're living in Holland, Belgium, or Europe, it might be very interesting for you to uh, take a look at his uh, at his Facebook page. Uh, there's one package for uh, Joey, who has his own uh, Instagram as well. Um, Josh reads comics, if I'm not mistaken, is what his um, uh, Instagram ad is. So if you want to follow that take a look at that then we have part one for Perry who has got his own YouTube channel um, called Perry Abel which I'll leave a description in, uh, in or a link in the description as well and that's part one he does unboxings as well and uh, not just comics but also uh, just certain collectibles and this is part two for Perry then we have a package for Adi, which is a pretty big one as well. Adi, you hoarder. Look at that. Massive amount of comics. Then we have a small package for me and a small package for Stefan. So uh, I'm pretty sure this must be Stefan. Sure. And that empties the box, so. Let me just get that out of the way, it's a huge box. Uh, Pim, dankjewel. And let's see what's inside. Uh, I was able to get some new uh, long boxes as well because I, I needed some new store, extra storage space. So the, uh, I, I replaced the, uh, the lids right here because they were starting to get a little bit greasy from all the unboxing I've been doing on them. So we have some nice clean lids right now. And let me just see where to enter this. Oh, that's easy. Okay, I don't even need a knife for that. Very easy to do. Nicely bubble wrapped. And let's see what's inside this package. So first off, we have X-Men 92, part of, uh, this is the second series. The first series was part of the Secret War storyline. And this is um, an issue which I was missing. So a nice addition to the collection. This series is not high on my priority list, but if I see it for a nice price, I'll just grab them anyways. This comic is a very cool 90s gimmick cover, silver foil. Um, Silver Server issued with art by Ron Lim. I'll be taking a deep dive into this one. This one I had coming in as well uh, last week. I, I forgot about that. Then we have a Venomized variant cover of All New Wolverine, issue number 24. I like the, uh, the Venomized covers. Then we have an X-Men 2099 AD silver foil uh, cover. I had one coming in the, uh, a couple of weeks ago, but that was not the foil variant. So I thought I had one uh, and I did, but it was actually a little bit damaged. So uh, this is a nice replacement for that. And then right here we have uh, the not enhanced version of X-Men issue number 50. Um, 
Since I'm a completist, uh, I just want to have the non-enhanced versions as well. Then we have a Mark Spector Moon Knight, issue number 21, featuring Punisher and Spider-Man. An issue I did not have. We have Marvel Comics Presents 92, with art by Sam Keith. I'll put this one here as well. Then we have a, an insert with, uh, which came with uh, some toys. And this is a reprint of Wolverine number 77. And uh, yeah, a complete thing, I guess. This one I already have, but I'm looking for an upgrade, which is a very cool uh, limited series of two parts. And since it's uh, Paul Smith art, I'll just take a look at that one as well. I might actually be covering this, um, this two-parter on the channel as well in the storytelling uh, videos because I like the story and I like the art. So uh, we have an X Factor annual issue number one, looking to upgrade. War of Kings variant because of uh, Black Bolt and the Inhumans. Then we have a variant of the Uncanny X-Men issue number 600, which I already have, but not this uh, variant version. I don't know what's by all the variants, but uh, I like this action figure variant thing that they're doing, which if you take a look at it, it looks just like it's an actual action, fig action figure. Um, then we have a Marvel team up issue number one, featuring Spider-Man and Miss Marvel. And a Marvel team up issue number five, featuring X-23 and Spidey. So yeah, those are the comics which I got in to some nice additions. And uh, I'm a little bit sad with the storytelling because uh, last week I did the last issue which featured art of uh, Paul Smith. I'm just a very big fan of Paul Smith's Uncanny X-Men run. But this is also done by Paul Smith, if I'm not mistaken. The cover. Yeah, Paul Smith art. And a very nice Arthur Adams. Heroes for a Hope, one shot. Add right there. a crossover between uh, Alpha Flight and the X-Men with a little bit of the New Mutants in there as well. And I'm not gonna say too much about what's gonna happen on the inside but um, it's a pretty cool story so yeah I, I hope you guys will enjoy it once I cover it on the storytelling. Um, just let me know in the comments below if you, if, if you want me to cover this soon or just put it on the back burner for a little bit there's a little bit of continuity stuff going on in this issue as well especially at the end of part two then we go to take a look at Sam Keith's art for a little bit with a crazy over-the-top art style He would later go and join the uh, the image um, founders with. Um, well, he he wouldn't be a founder, but he he would join later on with his own character called the Max. You might know it from the TV series or the comics themselves. I just like Sam Keith, so it's something different from uh, the usual stuff. And yeah, Marvel Comics Presents features four stories uh, of certain Marvel characters and the second story is about Beast. I'm not a big fan of that art. Is it MC Lyman? It's Jay Lee, really? Wow, okay. Wow, generally I'm a fan of Jay Lee's art, but this doesn't look that nice to me, but might be due to the inker, might be because it's one of the first 
projects Jay Lee worked on, but um, hmm, okay, I did not expect that. Color me surprised. And then on the flip side, we have Ghost Rider and Cable, also done by Sam Keith. But the interior art is not done by Sam Keith, it's done by Guang Yep. Oh, interesting, there's a the fourth story is uh, about North Star with art by Joe Madureira. It's nice. Kind of curious about that. Oh, that looks uh, that looks about as bad as Jelly's <laughs> art looks. That's, okay, that must be in the beginning of his career as well, or maybe because of the inker Danny Bulanati. This doesn't look like classic Joe Madureira at all. Okay, well, regardless, I got an another issue of um, Marvel Comics Presents to complete the... Not complete the series, but get more towards completing the series. And then finally, we switch over to Silver Server, which is a series which I don't feature a lot in the uh, unboxing videos because of this volume, I already have a lot of seri a lot of issues. So I only need a couple more, but I just couldn't resist in uh, not grabbing this one. I'm not entirely sure if I already have this or not, but probably, certainly not the Newsend variant, Newsend edition. And as you can see, a little dent right here. that it looks pretty good a little bit of fold here but I, I just like the way the cover looks really nice run limb art with a good application of the foil cover enhancement very cool let's take a look at the art of run limb probably one of his best runs together with uh, his run on Captain America by Jim Starlin. I think I think this is sort of a, like a, a dream or a vision of Thanos. This is not actually Thanos, I don't think. I'm not entirely sure about that. about is it is it a full story just a story or is it does it have a backup on there the collector shows up as well yeah it's all silver server and Thanos Oh wait, this is right before Infinity Gauntlet. Okay. So it, it must be Thanos then. Okay, well cool. So that's it for uh, Silver Server issue number 50. And also for this unboxing video. Um, thank you guys for joining me in this. And I just recorded the next chapter of Uncanny X-Men, which is issue 176. And um, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. Should be done before the weekend is over, I think. So uh, have a good night and um, thanks again for watching. Later.